Today's video is going to teach you how to use the double juke in Madden NFL 16. What's up guys, my name is Cody, I like to make Madden 16 videos and post them on the internet. Today's video we're going to be taking a deeper look uh, into the running game this year in Madden 16. One of the new moves that we're able to use this year is the double juke or the back, or excuse me, uh, the double juke or uh, the hesitation juke or whatever you want to call it, uh, but primarily most people have, that I've seen talk about it have called it a double juke. And uh, what we want to do here in this video is, uh, I, I know a couple people have broken this down, we're going to try to break it down and put a little spin on it as well. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to pick a nice agile back. The Cowboys have Joseph Randall. They also have Lance Dunbar. Those are the two backs I would recommend for trying to do this move. Now this is a move you're not going to do every time, but when the opportunity presents itself, we're going to try to do this move. It's basically a cutback maneuver, and what we really like to use it is when defenses try to over-pursue, and uh, there's no better example of that than the halfback toss. What you're going to see in the halfback toss this year is people are going to try to set the edge to the outside. When they do that, what we like to do is we like to do this double juke. Uh, and there we had a very terrible example uh, to start off the video. But what you see here is this double juke is going to make a really solid, really hard cut uh, backside uh, to try to get some yardage. Uh, and here we'll show it to the left side now. But what you're going to see here is when they over pursue, you're going to be able to jump back a really hard juke uh, to the back side. Okay, guys, so really quickly, you're just going to break down the joystick maneuvers. What you want to do here is whatever way you're running. Um, so, for example, if I'm running to the right here, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to naturally be holding the left analog stick to the right uh, to move my guy in that direction. When I want to execute the double juke, what I want to do is I want to flip my left my uh, left analog stick all the way back to the left and so I want to take it from what would be 3 o'clock if I'm running directly to the right and I want to move it to about 12 o'clock uh, to, to, to kind of provide a foundation of first step for the cutback. The other thing that you want to do is you want to, is you want to uh, take your hand off of the turbo. If, it's, if you use turbo like me and you like to use turbo over time uh, you want to take your hand off of the turbo to do this move. The next thing that you want to do when doing this move is right before you or right as you go to cut you're just going to flick you're going to quickly flick the right stick right and left. So you're going to go uh, 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock. Do not take your hand off the right stick. It's one fluid motion of back and forth, and it's going to sound like this. Like this, if you can hear it. That's exactly what it's going to sound like. And so here, let's see if we can show it to you coming here to the right side. And there you see the double juke. And don't worry about the yardage. What I really want to focus on is the is the maneuver itself and just breaking down how to do this move. Uh, this isn't really necessarily about um, you know how many yards you can get. But what you're going to see here is we're running to the right side and watch how sharp of a cut this is. You see, um, this is probably the only move that's going to give you this sharp of a cut, and it just is a bounce back move to the inside uh, for you to be able to turn the play upfield. Okay, so that's the double juke. We'll show it to you now. Going to the left side, you're just going to flip everything I said. So you're going to be holding your left analog stick to the left, running to the left, and you're going to jerk it back to the right when you want to do the move. You also want to do your double juke uh, and make that sound once again, but this time you're going to start going to the left and then come back to the right. So you're going to go doom like that. One, two, one, two, one, two. Exactly how you want to do it. Uh, just one quick fluid motion. And here we'll show you running to the left. Uh, whoops, we, well, we didn't get a block. You do need a little bit of space. Uh, it's not like it's not like the step back move. There it is, and there you see the the double juke, and that's exactly what we're going to get that result. And there are certain instances in which this uh, move becomes very very important uh, to your offense. But if you get good at it, you can really do it quickly. Uh, I would recommend practicing this move. Just run about three. Just run about ten plays in practice mode before you take this move online, and just work on the move, work on the timing, and uh, when you want to do it. It's a really solid move, in my opinion. Obviously, there are other moves, in my opinion, that are better. But it is a nice feature, nice addition to the game this year. It provides a lot of good cutback lanes, uh, and you can really turn runs like this uh, that are, you know, really not going to go for much. You can turn them into positive gains, or at least get back to the line of scrimmage with this double juke move. If you guys like this video, uh, what I would ask you to do is head over to Facebook.com and uh, Facebook.com slash MaddenTips365. If you could follow me on Facebook, I'd really appreciate it. Trying to grow my audience over there, uh, trying to uh, become more of a, a website-based uh, uh, 
product here and what we're trying to do is uh, run most of our most of our uh, stuff through Facebook so if you want to purchase guides we'll have links over there we're going to be doing some posts as well some written posts and things like that so uh, be sure to get over to Facebook and just check us out it'll take you two seconds we'll leave a link in the description for you very easy for you to find uh, and then secondly one other thing I want you to do for me if you could uh, what I what I've done is if you like this video you want to learn more about offense in this year's game I would recommend you checking out my Madden 16 offensive ebook uh, where I break down the Arizona Cardinals offensive guide and try to give you uh, some insight into how to use that playbook uh, and also how to be just really really effective on the offensive side of the ball uh, in general and so uh, hopefully you guys like that and uh, again I've gotten a lot of good reviews haven't had too many negative comments so I would really highly recommend that uh, if you want to looking to improve your offensive game in Madden 16 but that's the double juke and for this video guys I really appreciate your time I really want to thank you so much for providing me the support that uh, allows me to keep making these videos thank you so much for your time be sure to go check those